Welcome to part three of a simple data grid for ASP.NET MVC 3 and 4. In this part, we will look into how we can uh, clean up our grid a bit and uh, change the style and font and uh, coloring uh, for it to make it look a, a bit more professional than it is now. To start, um, let's take a look at some of the uh, parameters that the uh, a web grid provides for changing the behavior of the uh, grid. So basically, this is how the web grid uh, parameters are laid out, where the first parameter is the source. The second parameter allows you to control the uh, number of columns. The third one is um, the uh, default sort behavior number of rows per page, and the next parameter is uh, gives you the ability uh, to uh, page or not, so pagination in other words. And um, this one here controls the sorting. And that's really the most common ones uh, that we're going to look at. So let's do something else here. Let's... Uh, run it as is uh, right now so that you can see the uh, default look. Um, oops. So by default, this is how it looks and notice that it allows you to page. Well, let's uh, change that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the can sort to false. And then we're going to see if we can still sort it. So notice right now it allows you to sort. But with the parameter set to false, notice that you can no longer sort the columns. And if I set it back to true, then I should be able to sort again, which I can. Great. So how about pagination? Well, I can control that also by setting the can page parameter to false. And now if I go here again, notice that uh, there's no pagination anymore, and it shows me um, all the records in a single table. So that's another very useful um, thing to have. So let's set that back to true. And the other thing is um, I can control the number of records that I can put on a single page by changing the rows per page parameter of the web grid. So now I set it to 5. So if I um, go to this tab again, Notice that it breaks it down to five records per page. So that those are uh, some of the more common uh, parameters that you can play with to set uh, the behavior of the grid. So now let's uh, move on to uh, styling. So to begin, um, I will add a couple of... Uh, additional declarations right uh, at the beginning of the get HTML uh, function call. But you can see here, uh, table style, header style, and alternating row style. So these are the three more common uh, additional parameters that you can set to specify what kind of um, a grid, uh, what kind of styling you want to apply to your grid. So let's start with, um, here, let's uh, start by opening the uh, CSS. A bit slow here today. 
All right, so I'm going to scroll down all the way to the bottom here. And I'm going to add a new section. Let's call it um, Web Grid Styles. So here, I'm going to copy and paste a few. Let me uh, break this down like this so you can see what exactly I'm doing. All I'm saying is uh, set my font color to white for the table header uh, and the link uh, links inside the table header. And uh, make this text center uh, aligned. And um, so I also want to add an image in the header of the uh, file. So let me do that. I will create a folder called images. And inside of here, I will add an image. Okay, let's try that again at an existing item. So I've got a single image here, which is just a toolbar. So just a single uh, toolbar image that I'm going to use. And using this image, I can now set the footer to use this image, uh, which is in content images toolbar.jpg. So right here. And I'm using that for the footer. Uh, right here. So the next thing I want to do is I want to um, use the same image for our header. So uh, grid table header. Notice here is grid table header, which specifies the header style. And again, I'm using the same image. So one last thing that I want to um, add here is, well, let's run this as is first uh, to see if we get it working this far, and then we can build on it. Uh, OK, so. It looks like we need to uh, clear our browser cache here. All right. Um, well, it's a start. Um, let's see what else we're missing here. Let's first of all set the grid table width to 100%. And in the, I'm going to set the th, grid table th um, parameter to also use this image. So let's run this to see if it looks any better. Ah, there we go. So it's looking a lot better. We can still do all the things that we were doing before, like paging. And editing, of course. So let's increase the number of... Um, Columns back to 12, maybe. OK, 
Okay, it's looking a lot better. So the only other thing I want to do is I want to uh, change the alternating uh, rose background uh, to a different color. So let's try doing that. As you can see, there's a whole lot of um, CSS in styling um, the uh, grid table. There's not a whole lot of actual coding other than uh, the CSS. So here, if we refresh, there we have it. Now our uh, alternating rows are uh, a light shade of gray, which looks a lot better. So this is all I wanted to cover. Uh, Feel free to um, ask any comments or uh, uh, questions that you may have. And uh, if you have any other ideas for the next uh, part, uh, part four of the uh, Data Grid series, uh, I'll be very happy to listen to those ideas. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.